my name is Lynn, and I will no longer be making faceless content on this channel because of how time consuming it is. I'm going to do crime storytelling on camera. Today's homicide file belongs to Corey Sanders, a South African professional boxer who died in 2012. His career spanned from 1989 to 2008. He was notorious for knocking out Vladimir Kichko after only two rounds, which led him to winning the WBO heavyweight title. He was born on the 7th of January in 1996 in a small town called Brits in South Africa. This small town is very close to Pretoria to an extent that it uses the same Darling code despite it being in another province. As you can tell by his face, he is of African descent and he had two siblings. He was once married to a woman named Suzette and they had two children, a boy and a girl. He only retired in 2008 because he was knocked out. I think that this was an acceptance that he no longer had it within him. On the 20 22nd of September 2012, he went to Thatch Heaven Lodge with his family to celebrate his nephew's 21st birthday. He was standing by the entrance with his 15-year-old daughter and his cousin as they were jamming and having a good time, when suddenly three men stormed the venue holding firearms and started shooting. He acted quickly, shielding his daughter and falling on top of her to protect her, but unfortunately, he had been hit on his hand and on his stomach. He, however, did not feel this because of adrenaline, but he managed to tell his daughter to play dead. Three men only managed to get away with a digital camera, a bag, and a cell phone because a car alarm went off and they assumed that it was the police. Cody was then ferried to Calafon Hospital in Pretoria, which is 50 minutes away from the venue, and unfortunately, he died a few hours later. The police were then tasked with finding these three men and getting justice for this South African legend. Fortunately, after only a few days, they received a tip-off of three Zimbabwean men who were being suspected of being involved in the crime. The three men were Samuel Mabena, 27, Chris Moy, 25, and Paida Fish, an 18-year-old. They were arrested in Okasi informal settlement where they resided and were brought in for questioning. They had no choice but to admit their crime because they were caught with the cell phone, the video camera, and some of the possessions that were in the bag that they had taken from the robbery. While they were in custody, it was discovered that Samuel Mabena was also wanted in connection with another murder in the prison area at a certain farm. Paida Fish was also wanted in connection with several armed robberies. When Chris Moyer was questioned, he tried to lie that he was with his girlfriend at home on the day of the robbery, but his girlfriend, when questioned by the police, denied this claim. The judge did not believe that they intended to kill Sanders. He believed that he was simply collateral damage to an armed robbery. He also said that they had decided to go big and go home by attacking a large group of people because of greed. This was also an indication that they had robbed before and they were not amateurs. The judge then sentenced them to 18 years in prison for the murder of Corey Sanders, 19 years for armed robbery, and six additional years for possession of unlicensed firearms and ammunition. The sentences were to run concurrently, even though they were first-time convicts. The judge said that he did not sentence them to life in prison because there was not enough evidence to suggest that they had intended to kill Corey Sanders. So because of greed, these three Zimbabwean young men chose the fast lane to live their lives and inevitably crashed all because of greed. If only they had worked hard and remained crime free, they would be out here enjoying life. And we learned that there is no reward to living in the fast lane. May Corisanda's soul rest in eternal peace.